curious about the best headphones for classical music? Let us take a closer look. What? They're opera glass. They're opera glasses. Oh, forget. I give up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our awesome audiophile content. And tap the bell to be notified right away when we post new videos. Operas and sonatas and symphonies, oh my! If you can't get enough classical music and headphones are your preferred mode of listening, you're going to want a pair that's made for the genre. Now, I'm not saying there are headphones designed exclusively for classical music, but certain headphones are going to be more optimal for classical than others, and I'm here to show you why. There are many eras and styles of classical music. However, the genre can generally be characterized by complexity, variation, and elegance. Classical music is dynamic, shifting from bold to somber to thunderous to pin drop quiet in a matter of moments. So you want a headphone that will keep up without your having to constantly adjust the volume. When it comes to the best headphones for classical music, we generally recommend a neutral or a neutral warm headphone. Much of classical music exists in the mid-range, so you don't want a headphone that puts too much emphasis on the bass or treble. We find that a warmer sound signature provides more of a lush, immersive listening experience, perfect for replicating the realism and nuance of a live performance. We like the music to sound cohesive and flowing without an overemphasis on details. Moreover, because classical music can vacillate so quickly from quiet to loud, think a sudden surge of violins, you don't want a headphone that's going to be too peaky in the upper regions. As far as open-backed versus closed-back headphones, an open-back headphone will provide a wider sound stage, great for reproducing music recorded in a concert hall. A closed back headphone, meanwhile, will give you a more immersive in your head listening experience. There's no right or wrong answer here, but we generally recommend open back headphones for a wider, airier, more majestic sound. Finally, while looks aren't everything, it doesn't hurt to have a headphone whose design matches the elegance of classical music. So without further ado, here are some of our top recommendations for headphones for classical music. First up is the Open Back Over Ear Grado GS1000X. Now, for many people, Grado headphones are synonymous with rock and roll, but this one is great for classical. It's a neutral and detailed headphone that is, in our opinion, the best for low level listening. Classical music tends to shift frequently from quiet to loud. The GS1000X is great at capturing the quiet parts without your having to adjust the volume. This headphone uses Grado's 50mm X driver, which is specifically tuned to bring out the richness of the mahogany on the ear cups. The other wood you see here is Ipe, which acts as a sturdy base for any sound passing through its grain. The large ear cushions deviate from earlier Grado headphones in that they cover the ear, which leads to a wider perceived soundstage along with nice depth. You're going to perceive a good amount of space around the instruments. Bass on the GS1000X goes deep, but there is a sense of airiness there. The GS1000X costs $1,195. Please note that Grado cables are hardwired to the headphone ear cups. If you would like to update your GS1000X with a Dragon cable, we can hack or hardwire your headphones to accommodate this. We recommend a Black Dragon premium cable to add warmth and bottom end weight. Next up is the Aria Stealth Magnets, an open back planar magnetic headphone from Hi-Fi Man. An update to the original Aria, the Aria Stealth features Hi-Fi Man's patented Stealth Magnets technology. 
These magnets feature a special shape that enables waves to pass through them without generating interference, so sonics are detailed and transparent, exposing every detail of a recording without extraneous noise. The Aria Stealth has more bass and is a bit warmer than its predecessor. That being said, it is not lush or laid back. It's more of a warm side of neutral sound. The mid-range is clear and the treble is on the relaxed side. The Aria Stealth is easier to drive than its predecessor, but we always recommend using a DAC headphone amp as planar magnetic headphones really come into their own the more power you use. The metal and plastic construction is both sturdy and lightweight, and the ear cups are designed to mimic the shape of the human ear. Plus, the pads are beveled to contour to the wearer's head. The Aria Stealth Magnets costs $1,299. We recommend pairing it with a Black Dragon Premium headphone cable to add just a bit more bottom end warmth and weight. Moving on, the Planar Magnetic Meze Empyrean is a warm and lush sounding headphone with a famously wide soundstage. The expansive soundstage is wonderful for listening to music that was recorded in a big concert hall. With orchestral music, you're going to really hear each individual instrument in its own space. The Empyrean also has a ton of emotional impact, so you're really going to feel engaged in the music feeling everything the composer put into it. The low end on the Empyrean is full and warm, but it doesn't overwhelm the rest of the frequency range. Mids are clear and natural with a wonderful sense of separation in the instrumentation. Highs are airy and on the smoother side. And just look at this design. The black and copper and the curve of the headband are simply beautiful. The Empyrean costs $29.99. We recommend pairing it with a Silver Dragon premium headphone cable to add a bit of sparkle to the top while ensuring the low end stays well controlled. Moving along with the open back warm theme, we have the Focal Utopia 2022. An update to its more analytical sounding predecessor, the Utopia 2022 achieves what many headphones cannot. Its sound is both highly detailed and musical. This can be a best of both worlds scenario. Thanks to an updated voice coil, the Utopia 2022 has a smoother top end than the original, but it doesn't feel like too much is lost in the way of detail. It's still a very resolute sounding headphone. But you're not going to be wincing when strings and horns are at the fore. Instead, you're going to revel in your ability to parse out the various instruments while also fully enjoying everything as a whole. The Utopia 2022 is also very dynamic, capturing low-level sounds with ease. The updated grill design makes for a wide soundstage, albeit not at the level of the Empyrean. The Utopia 2022 has a mostly black design with pops of red from the driver grill peeping out through the ear cups. The Focal Utopia 2022 costs $49.99. We recommend pairing it with a Silver Dragon premium headphone cable for maximum clarity and low end control. Finally, for those who want a closed back headphone, we recommend the Focal Stelia. The Stelia's more analytical and detailed sound resembles the original Utopia headphone, but with a smoother top end. If you're afraid analytical is going to sound clinical, fear not. The Stelia is really quite natural sounding. The cognac and mocha finish is warm and luxurious, and like the Utopia, the build quality is evident through and through. The closed ear cups are going to give a more intimate presentation. You're not going to get as wide of a sound as with the Utopia, but you will perceive a good amount of height and depth. The Stelia costs $29.99. As for a cable upgrade, we find the Stelia with a Black Dragon premium headphone cable to be a stellar pairing, injecting a delicious dose of warmth and musicality.
Whether you're looking for your first pair of audiophile headphones or you're looking to expand your collection, we've offered several suggestions for headphones that are going to pair well with classical music. For even more recommendations, please see our blog post, which we've linked down below. If you have any questions, leave us a comment. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching.